Why do we use a French term for a currency exchange office? In British English and across Europe, the term bureau exchange is used to describe what us English speakers would call a currency exchange or foreign exchange office. Why do we use a French term, or loan word, for something which doesn't appear to be intrinsically French in nature or origin and is a relatively new concept, so has no historical significance or tradition? I find it hard to believe that English speakers in Europe struggled to succinctly describe the concept of an office where you can exchange currencies and had to adopt the French term instead. I bet the real reason is because French used to be considered an international diplomatic language, the way English is now. Indeed American passports are still in both English and French. Plus, France is the country closest to England, so changing pounds to francs was historically common. This may help explain why the practice is more common in the UK than stateside. The actual answer is that long ago the upper classes of Great Britain considered French a language of prestige and commerce and injected it wherever they could into speech there are French phrases that we use all the time because of their obsession, because back then peppering your speech with French was a sign of refinement, pas de deux, fait accompli, coup d'état, and so on. Hence Britain has an exchequer while America has a treasurer, but both look after the national piggy bank. Perhaps the French term was picked up by English travelers visiting French-speaking places, France and Switzerland, with the local language to describe their exchange offices. My guess is most of the tourists would change their money whilst abroad. The term then stuck, and was by businesses used back at home, as the association of foreignness is appropriate. Here's an gram of the terms in the English corpus. The capitalized and lowercase terms are roughly on par, and you can see the term becoming more popular. And from the French corpus unsurprisingly has a larger scale and starts earlier. Interesting to note that the capitalized term doesn't show up. Checking some old books, Bureau de Change can be found in English 19th century travel guides for France and Switzerland, and also for money changes in London. 1858's The ABC, or Alphabetical Railway Guide has adverts for S. J. Spry and Co of 110 Leadenhill Street, London who are Money Changes, Foreign Coin and Bullion Merchants Geld Vexel Comptoir Bureau de Change The Welcome Guest, Issues 37 to 75 of 1859 describes Switzerland So many large white buildings, too, with delicide windows, on whose entablature freezes you might read Bonk de Commerce, Bonk du Landgrafschaft, Bonk de Scont, Bonk at Bureau de Change a Practical Swiss Guide, by an Englishman in Switzerland of 1860 contains, several bureau to change amongst its listings, such as Nouveaux, Silks, Shawls, and Amp, C. Clouseau Anya, opposite the post. Bureau de Change, Eitbork, 74 Montagne de la Cour, of the highest character. Capital of Belgium, a smaller Paris. Manufact. Lace. English Embassy, on the Royal Park. The Banker's Magazine and Statistical Register, Volume 19, Part 1 of 1864 translates some financial terms between English, French and Italian. Exchange Office, Bureau de Change, M, Casa de Cambio, F. Charles Dickens' 1885 journal, Household Worlds appears to mention it several times, including these descriptions. A bureau de change stood temptingly before him, English notes and coins displayed in profusion in its wire protected window, affording ample evidence that a large business was done in the current coin of that realm, that both letter, and at home were dated from the same house in Regent Street, but the four bore the business heading, Bureau de Change. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.